How do you find your purpose? If you guys want advice. Yes. 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 How do you find it? <laughs> so I got on a plane to Thailand. I sat with some monks in silence for a week, waiting for the purpose to fall down. It did not. <laughs> <laughs> but I had sort of gotten quite more uh, spiritual over the journey of my healing from my uh, brain thing. And through sort of some continuous meditation, I, I meditate still every day. If I don't meditate for two days, I sort of turn into a freak <coughs> with all the sort of stresses that, that are happening all the time. And, and for me, it was about doing something meaningful, building something that could be meaningful, and it had to be huge. Because if you're going to do something meaningful, why do it in a corner? Let's try to do something. Whatever you guys are going to do with your lives, you can do something amazingly meaningful at the consultancy. Because that could, be a, that could be a vehicle for impact, right? I mean, sitting in the boardrooms and, and advising the largest companies or governments around the world, that can be super powerful. But know why you're doing it. Don't waste a life. Seriously. Okay. This is sort of my mental model of how it works. Okay? So you sort of you land in this, uh, in this world. Imagine you're a, a drop that falls in the, in the ocean. Okay? And you start making uh, ripple effects in the ocean. Now, I believe, personally, that we all come into this world with a soul purpose. Like, we actually sat somewhere, our soul was hanging out somewhere, and then said, hey, I want to go live a life. And we came in, and there is a purpose inside. Now, you need to find that. It's tricky. Um, for me, uh, introspection through meditation is helpful, but you, know, you can do other things as well. Now, the trick is, the more you connect with the source of your purpose, with the source of, so why am I here? The more the ocean doesn't look like just a random ocean, but you actually see that there is, there is ripples, and you can actually see the pattern coming from where you landed. Yeah? Bit, uh, and then, so the more you, the more you align yourself, because I don't think that you will figure out, what, some people figure out, okay, this is my ultimate purpose in life. My wife, she knows that I am in this world to help women and children in the Middle East. She, that's great. She actually knows it. I, I don't really know. For me, it was, I'm going to build something, and it's going to be meaningful and big. Okay, so I quit McKinsey, and I start building something. Now, so I, I start aligning myself a little bit. Now, is this my ultimate purpose, Kareem? I don't know. But so far, it, it, it feels pretty good. But as soon as I see, like, oh, but maybe it's a little bit more to the right, you have to keep walking. So I think it is a journey, but you have to commit to walking the journey. And, and just, there is no judgment whatsoever. Right? I think you can be completely fulfilled with purpose being an investment banker. But just know that, that's, that you, know, you should just know that that's what you want to do. And then I think the purpose will more and more show itself. But if you're just sitting still, sitting comfortable, either because of fear or because of just you know, carelessness, then it's a waste of a life. 